We have two types of fat, white fat and brown fat. White fat is well known, it's what we typically refer to when we talk about fat. Its primary role is to store energy and, apart from that, it's relatively passive. In contrast, brown fat is different. It's active, not passive. Being active means it burns calories and releases heat. This process is called thermogenesis. When a person is cold, brown fat generates heat to warm the body. Brown fat is also known as brown adipose tissue, or BAT. It's especially important in newborns who cannot shiver. For them, brown adipose tissue plays a crucial role in generating warmth. Brown fat is rich in mitochondria, the energy-producing organelles, which contain iron. This iron content is why brown fat appears darker compared to white fat. In adults, brown fat constitutes about 1-2% to of the total fat mass, but this can vary significantly from person to person. However, a lean and physically active person might have around 5% of their fat as brown fat, similar to newborns. Brown fat is primarily located around the neck and shoulders in adults, as well as along the spine. So, why is brown fat important? Brown fat burns extra calories, but this is particularly effective if the person is physically active and lean. In such cases, even a small amount of brown fat can burn approximately 300 to 500 calories, helping lean individuals maintain their weight and feel less cold during cold exposure. What do we know about brown fat based on evidence? Meta-analyses have shown that cold exposure increases brown fat volume and energy expenditure by around 22%. Simply put, when you are in a cold environment, around 60 degrees Fahrenheit 16 degrees Celsius or less, your body burns 22% more calories, even at rest. To activate and increase brown fat, regular cold exposure is required. Generally, at room temperature, brown fat burns about 100 to 200 calories daily. However, during prolonged cold exposure, when brown fat activity increases, the burnt calories can reach up to 800 calories per day. Another interesting aspect is that brown fat primarily burns fats, or triglycerides, and it appears to do so more from visceral fat, which is the unhealthier type of fat contributing to cardiovascular diseases. As a result, an increase in brown fat activity can lead to a reduced risk of cardiovascular diseases. Brown fat also burns glucose and plays a role in improving insulin sensitivity. Its way of burning glucose is different from most other cells. Normally, glucose metabolism produces ATP, adenosine triphosphate, which serves as energy for metabolic processes within the cell. However, in the case of brown fat, this energy is converted directly into heat, helping a person generate warmth without shivering. Exercise, particularly, increases brown fat. It converts white fat into brown fat, a process known as a browning. High-intensity interval training is especially effective in producing brown fat. Capsaicin, the compound that gives chili peppers their spiciness, also increases brown fat and enhances its metabolic activity. Thyroid hormones and diabetic medications like metformin may also activate and increase brown fat. As we age, and with exposure to high temperatures and obesity, the levels of brown adipose tissue significantly decrease. 